Uh, I should not include that in my video, but I know I'm going to add it. What's up, you guys? Probably the most common questions I get besides things about being gay are YouTube questions. I've met a lot of people that are wanting to start channels, which I think is awesome. I love the creative freedom of YouTube and being able to just share with the world what you want. But today we're going to be talking about the benefits of starting a YouTube channel. That cold hard cash. I'm gonna start right now by telling you guys, small YouTubers do not make that much money. So if you're starting a channel for the purpose of making money, you're gonna be disappointed probably. But just how much money? That's what we're gonna figure out today. We're also gonna be talking about you guys, the audience demographics. You might not think this, but YouTube has a lot of information about you guys. And I'm about to tell you what they know. Let's start screen recording so you guys can see this my phone. There's an awesome app called YouTube Studio and if you have a channel you can download this app and sign in and it'll tell you a bunch of different information about your channel. But let's start with the main topic of the video which is how much a small YouTuber makes. So to break this down I want to give you guys a realistic view of how many views get you X amount of money. We're gonna go to analytics, go to revenue, and then if you go to top earning videos, my top earning video is coming out to my Mormon parents. That's not a surprise because it has 320,000 views. So far from that, I've made $744.49. The next highest is 10 gay dating tips, which I've made $133 from. And that one has 67,000 views. And then if you look at q and I've made $86. Q&A has 55,000 views and that made $86.95. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting. If you look at the Q&A video versus our gay first, they made almost the same amount of money, but Q&A has 55,000 views and our gay first has 39,000 views. So why when it's like a 15,000 view difference, did I make the same amount of money? There's a lot of factors that go into that. One is how long your video is, another is the retention time, how long people are watching your video, how many ads you have in the video, your audience demographics. For example, people who are older give you more money per view. I think the reason why is because they're the primary purchasers of content that they see from ads. What they're viewing your channel through, whether it's a computer or a phone. Another big one is um, what kind of ads you put on your videos. Some people have like non-skippable ads before their videos. Some of them have skippable ad videos. Some of them have bumper ads that pop up on your computer when you're viewing the video. Some people put commercials at the end. And if your video is long enough, you can put commercials in the middle. So there's a lot that kind of goes into that. <clears throat> the next tab is discovery. So this is how people are finding your video, which I think is pretty interesting too. Like these are the top external sources, Google search, Gmail. Are people like emailing my video? YouTube. YouTube is not an external source, right? Audience. This is all about you guys. So 91.9% .9 of my viewers are male, <laughs> which is surprising, but at the same time, not. Like the people that are gonna relate to me the best are going to be other gay men. This is another interesting one. So this is the age ranges of the people viewing my channel. So only 1.3% of the people viewing my channel are minors. The vast majority is 18 to 65 plus. And I was surprised how even it is. So the highest is 25 to 34 years old, but all of those age demographics are pretty similar. That's what I have for you guys today. I'm thinking I'm going to do a video sometime soon about my favorite gear I use and like what I wish I would have known when I started my YouTube channel. I'm learning so much still like every day about YouTube. I've specifically put so much time and effort recently into learning about editing and shooting and lenses and different equipment and gear and what to use and what not to use. If that is something you guys would be interested in, let me know. If you guys have any more questions about starting a channel or anything like that, um, feel free to reach out to me. I'm usually pretty good about answering those. All right. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.